My name is Adam Gerry. I'm co-founder and co-director of EurasiaFuture.com, a website exploring geopolitical issues throughout the world with an emphasis on Eurasia, a wider Asian space, including, of course, Southeast Asia. And I talk a lot about the Philippines because of my admiration for what President Duterte is doing to change the country and improve the country in so many different ways. As to why I support President Duterte, his record as mayor was one of tough law and order, one that put control back in the hands of the people, and in order to do that, he established a safe and productive environment for the people. Many thought it couldn't be done at a national level, but Duterte, like he has in almost every instance, he's proved the critics wrong. He is getting the job done in spite of what the U.S. Congress says, what some idiot at the U.N. says, what the silly European Union says. He's doing what he needs needs to do and what his people want him to do. No one who's a serious person can say that Duterte isn't democratic. The definition of democratic is when you serve the people, when you do the will of the people. Duterte remains so much more popular in the Philippines than leaders in so many other countries. He's more popular than Trump in America, than Merkel in Germany. The list goes on and on. And he's popular for a reason. His build, build, build Build program, for example, is putting much needed injections of cash and vitality into the very infrastructure of the Philippines, and this will help to create jobs and bring in further investment, improve the lives of the people for decades to come, uh, centuries even, because once you build something, then you can build upon that, and Duterte is laying that important foundation. Duterte's war on drugs is so important, not just for the health and safety of the people, but also for the economic well-being of the country. No one wants to invest in a place where crazy people are running around on drugs. They want to invest in a place like Singapore after Lee Kuan Yew made his reforms starting in the 1960s. Duterte is in this sense like the Lee Kuan Yew of the Philippines. He's doing it by pivoting his country towards new partnerships, making closer ties with countries like Russia, China, Malaysia, India, beyond. The world is open. Uh, Africa other parts of Asia, all of these new markets, all of these new partnerships for security and prosperity will now be open, and they're already opening because of the excellent reforms Duterte has done. He's made the tax system fairer, and now he's going to make the very structure of government fairer with the federal system and possibly even with the parliamentary system that will allow an even more direct representation of the people if reformed correctly, and I have my full faith in that. My message to President Duterte is keep on doing everything you're doing. Speak for the people as you've always done. Your sincerity is unquestionable. No one, no one can doubt your sincerity. So please just have many more healthy and productive years for yourself and your country. You're the best. Tap the option at the far right called See First. Now, when your favorite Facebook page posts new content, you won't miss it. They will be the first posts you see when you open Facebook.